Hello dear viewers, I hope you are doing excellent. In this video, I will show you how you can run Microsoft's Phi 3 model as a free co-pilot inside VS Code. We will achieve this by using Olama, Phi 3 model and the continue extension. But before that, let me introduce you to Olama. Olama is an open source app that lets you run, create and share large language models locally with a command line interface on Mac OS and Linux. Given the name, Olama began by supporting Llama 2, then expanded its model library to include models like Mistral and Phi 2. Olama makes it easy to get started with running LLMs on your own hardware in a very little setup time. You should use Olama if you want to be able to run LLMs on your laptop, keep your chat data away from third party services and want to interact with them via, via a command line interface in a simple way. You can create your account uh, on olama.com, sign in and this is the screen that will be shown to you. So as we discussed, Lama, Olama provides different sets of models including Lama 3, Phi, Mistral, uh, Gemma, etc. Right? So we'll take a look at all these model libraries that are available. But in the meantime, what I would like to do is start the installation process of Olama. Now I have uh, WSL setup in my Windows machine. So I am going to select the option of running it in Linux. Now, please note at the time of recording this video, Olama for Windows is in preview mode. When an app is in preview mode, uh, there are no uh, sure shot things that the app will work out uh, in the best possible manner, right? So be careful when you are installing Windows if it's in preview mode. So I'll click on the Linux part and I get this curl script which will download the installation shell script and execute it okay so i click on this copy button and open vs code and i will paste this shell command <coughs> okay so the installation will start in the meantime i can show you uh, rest of the part of olama now uh, when i wanted to get started i was looking at the document section but it was not there and then when I scrolled or looked at glanced at the bottom, I could see the doc section here. So if you're stuck anywhere, uh, go to this doc section. Uh, they have nice documentation for different, um, you know, be it the Linux setup process or the API reference, or uh, if you run into any problem, um, then you can also refer their troubleshooting guide. So don't forget to access the uh, document section here. Um, of Olama okay so uh, if I just put hyphen library I would get a list of all the models that are supported by Olama so you can simply scroll through this list and you get all the list all the list of the models that are supported by it okay so let's say if I click on it I would get some description of it some architectural um, details would be mentioned okay the license and the readme so before you use any of these models make sure to read the documentation of those respective models let us check the status of our installation <coughs> okay so installation is complete now let's take a look at the phi model Developed by Microsoft, Phi3 is the most capable and cost-effective small language model. It has proved to be a better model when compared with models of the same size and next size up across a variety of language, reasoning, coding and math benchmarks. The model that we are going to use today is the Phi3 model. It has 3.8 billion parameters and it is available as part of the Azure AI Studio, Hugging Face and Olama. It comes into two variants, 4K and 128K context tokens. Okay, so um, it can generate uh, some really good output and it also has a larger context window. The second thing is, 
in the future microsoft is also going to release two more models the phi 3 small and the phi 3 medium models there is no deadline set on when these models would be available but if you are looking this video at the time when these models are available you can change mini model uh, with the new models that have been released now let's talk about the vs code extension that we'll be using so continue is a open source vs code and jetbrains extension uh, it is an you can think of it as a close alternative to github copilot it provides the following features auto completion completes single lines or entire sections of code in any programming language as you type reference and chat you can attach code or other context to ask questions about functions files the entire code base and more highlight and instruct so you can highlight code sections and press keyboard shortcut to rewrite code from natural language so these are some of the highlights of this extension uh, please go through this readme file uh, so that you understand better about this extension also you can integrate uh, let's say you have a subscription to uh, open ai models so you can also plug in the api key and use gpt 3.5 turbo or gpt 4 models uh, with the continue extension and you'll only be paying for the tokens that you will utilize with the open ai api keys there is no cost associated with the continue extension you only pay for the tokens you will use okay so th that was about continue now before we get started with the setup i want to tell you that olama performs significantly better if you have gpu or if your laptop ram has 32 gigabytes or more of memory now let's come back to vs code and start using phi3 models inside olama okay so if i simply type olama i would get uh, the list of available commands that are there i will type olama and i will list out if there are any models available so there are no models as of now so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pull a model from the olama model registry so to do that i would type olama pull phi3 model so this is a very large file and i would pause the video here until the download is complete okay so the phi model is downloaded let's see okay so when i use the list command i can see it here now what i can do is i can make it run from this command line interface and the command for that is olama run phi3 So I'm going to ask a question. Uh, what is the capital of Sweden? Stockholm, that's correct. It's not the largest city in Sweden, but also serves as the political and economic center. Now we are getting this explanation because uh, Phi 3, as we looked into the description, is good at uh, reasoning tasks and that is why it is giving me some uh, historical context why it is why it is the capital okay and yeah i think that's it i mean uh, we, we are able to run uh, the phi model locally but i will uh, exit it by typing uh, f forward slash and the by command okay so we are out of this now the next step is to integrate this with uh, the continue extension okay so what we want to do is uh, go to our extensions tab here and type continue 
Hmm. So I'll install it. Okay, so we have continue installed now. And this is from my previous installation. So I'll just get rid of this. Okay, so when the first time uh, you'll be shown the continue screen, it will ask you to execute certain commands. Uh, there, is, there was another command and it was to install the star coder. Okay, so I will also install it. It is used for uh, code auto completion. Okay, so olama pull star coder. Or there is a shortcut. I can also specify run and um, it automatically gives me the star coder model okay so this also i will pull and when you run it for the first time maybe llama 3 is selected but you don't have to use that simply click on this o llama 53 latest model okay and you are good to go with this so the download is almost complete now oh. bye okay uh, there is a command that lets us check if the olama service is running or not so i would check the status okay so it's uh, up and running now let's see uh, if codium will generate uh, some code for us so when you see this uh, raise to i it basically means control i on windows so i'll press it and i'll ask write python code to read a csv file using pandas okay and i'll hit enter now let's see what happens I'm not pausing the video uh, because um, I want you to see that it takes some time for the code to get generated. Okay, first line came in, replace. There is a comment from Phi model, right? It is automatically doing things on its own. I'm not typing anything or pressing the tab key. simply get rid of this okay so it has it is still writing the code but you can see that we can use phi model to write code uh, it may not be as fast as github copilot is um, because it depends a lot on your hardware ram uh, in my case it is quite low so that's the point i wanted to make that you can use phi model as well uh, as an alternative to github copilot um, you can host it locally and run it it's not perfect the the code that it has written but at least we know that it can write and i can then accept all reject or you know select this there are some instructions right so i'll just accept it for now okay so I'll get rid of these things and alternatively you get some more um, help here uh, through your code basis so if I press add there are some commands like uh, I can add some I, I'll highlight I'll select this code and I'll press Control L so as soon as I do that first let me get rid of this and as soon as I uh, click on uh, Control L this becomes part of the context now i can ask any questions so let's say uh, modify this code to only read the columns call one call two and call three okay now let's see what it does
anyway so this will take its time to complete and we can verify i mean i i can see that it is correctly um, specifying the columns that it should be reading based on the new instruction that i give and that's all about uh, running phi model inside olama on your local machine um, for you to use it as a github copilot alternative and i would encourage you to check out this extension play play around with it uh, try out different models if you have larger memory try out the llama 3 model it is much much better in any of the present competitors that are there now once this code gets generated i can move it directly to my uh, cursor okay so what i'll do is i'll replace this entire code and i will select uh, this part okay so it has replaced this code okay and now i just have to read it so that's how uh, this extension works with the phi model so that's all for this video i hope i was able to make you understand how this integration works and how you can use phi model inside of olama as a github co uh, copilot alternative so thank you for watching this video i hope you have a nice day thank you